What is going on? Why am I hearing you pregnant? Who you heard that from? It don't matter. Are you pregnant? I might be. By who? I mean, how could it be you if you ain't even home? You never hear. So what? I don't even see wait, 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 you. Wait, 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 I gotta wait. call you, pencil that in, and even have time with you. So you saying you pregnant? It's not mine, and you living here? Why pay all the bills at? That's the least you could. Are do. you out of mind, Keisha? That's the least you could do. What you mean? You've been neglecting me for a long time. So you gonna baby on me? I gotta hear from your How you even hear it from her anyway? Why y'all talking in the first place? That that's matter. what I mean. That's the stuff that I be talking about. That's what I mean. It's simple stuff like that. You can't talk to me, but you can talk to her. How that make sense? You think I'm stupid? You sitting up here with a secret, baby. You talking about talking? What was you gonna say no thing? Secret? You just didn't know about it. So what is that called? A secret. It's called you. Look, you was out of the loop. You just needed to be out of the loop. But you, but you and my. We got a whole kid together. You. Is that, is that my kid? Keisha, we can, we Keisha, can find Keisha, out. We can Keisha, call Keisha, more if Keisha, you want to call more. Is that more. my kid? We can call more if you want to call more. So you're saying it's not my kid? I'm saying it's a possibility. That a six-year-old is not my kid. When have you spent time with me? When have you been around? I'm always working. You be on Instagram all the time. It makes money. What you mean? I, I'm paying everything on Keisha. Like, come on. You for real? And you could just come talk to me or nothing? I've been trying to talk to you. I've been trying to call you. I've been trying to have conversations with you. I tried to set up date nights. You wasn't worried you know about it. It's all you good. wasn't worried you, you, about you, you it. Right, you, you right. Look, it's a date night. Ain't it talking. Get your bag and get out. You really finna do this right now. Man, what option are you giving me? What you want me to do? Play daddy daycare in here? No. Not doing that. You gonna sit up here and lay in the bed while you pregnant? Like, how long is you gonna keep this up? Was you gonna say anything in, at all? I mean, what, do you sit here and tell me what you're doing when you're gone all hours of the night, when you don't come back for two and three days? But you working though, right? You yeah. working. Because what job has you gone for that long? And let me guess, your phone just don't got it. You don't have a charger. Your phone just don't work. Your thumbs broke. You don't have a way to communicate with nobody. The difference is, ain't nobody telling you nothing though. You ain't hearing it from my friends. But you on the other end, your friends, yeah, they quick to tell me how you pick about the guy. I your friends because all your friends trying to talk to me in the first place. <sighs> Whatever. Man, listen, man. I ain't trying to do all this. Got a little boy in there. Get your stuff and get out for real, Keisha. You gotta go. I ain't doing this. Whatever. You can leave. You job. You get pretty. I mean, that's crazy. Whatever. Talking about neglect. 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 If you wanted something more to happen, then you should have been here. You should have been here. Who gonna? Man, so she really didn't put up a fight or nothing. She wasn't trying to say, no, you not putting me out. You not kicking me out. I understand you can be like, JR, what does she have? She's pregnant with another man's child, potentially. What is she going to say? Some people will still be like, no, I'm still not getting out. I tried to do this. I tried to do that. But the funny thing is, didn't Buddy sound like Woody just now? He, he talked just like Woody when you <laughs> heard the way he was speaking. But this is why a lot of times, whether you find out here or you find out later, paternity tests is very important, something that should be done. And this guy, he was a lot more calmer than... I think a lot of you would be. You guys would probably, as you say, catch a felony. Jira, <laughs> it's a skit. Because that's what y'all think. It's a skit, right? Hey, I don't care if it's a skit. You guys are watching it. That's all that matters, man. At least you tuned in. But how would you guys react in a situation like this? Because he had to talk to her for a good three minutes. Had the camera out. Had the phone out recording. But would you have been as gracious? Would you guys have been as nice? Or would you like turned up on her would you have taken it a completely different route anyway let's get on to the next video guys let's go can i be vulnerable with you all today i honestly think that when attractive men like really handsome men try to talk to me get to know me i either think something is either wrong with them because they are too handsome to be single and want to talk to me or two um, they have a situation going with somebody and they don't want anybody to know about me. Cause it's like right now I'm talking to two very attractive men. Like, are you sure that you're single, single? Like, are you sure? Because I've been hidden before and it's, it's not a good feeling at all. In my heart of all hearts, I know that I'm big pressure. 
I'm big pressure, baby. Big pressure. Um, women like me don't come around again in life or in another lifetime or in heaven. So I know there's nothing, nothing else like me. But in the back of my mind, it's like, I know you got a girlfriend. I know you're married. I know you got a girlfriend. I know you're married. You know? So I, I don't I don't know why that is. I guess it's because of situations that I've been through for the past couple years. Like I haven't been with men who have had the purest and best intentions for me. So if you are working through the same thing as me, leave a brown heart or a rainbow in the comment section. I know a lot of times some things in life are too good to be true. And based off what she's saying, she may be used to dealing with a certain type of guy. Maybe she's just been used to being low hanging fruit. And when a guy that she does happen to be attracted to, or she does find has his stuff together, a lot of times you don't know how to take it. So you're like, there's gotta be a catch. There's gotta be, something can't be right about this. He wants to talk to me. He's giving me the time of day, me of all people, which says a lot about yourself your self-confidence and how you view yourself. If you're just like, eh, I don't think I'm that, I don't think I should be with this type of guy because I feel like I may be beneath him. He deserves better. And that's a, a bad way of thinking unless you just know that you don't have nothing going for your ass. If you broke and homeless and you strung out, that's completely different where you have all these different things going on. All these things that could be detrimental to a relationship and or yourself and the person just in general. But if you tend to have pretty much everything going for yourself, you're adulting, you got your own apartment, got your own car, you got a job and someone happens to like you for you and they enjoy their time with you and you say you got two of them. Baby, that's why they say a lot of times unattractive people or people that society views as unattractive or not select, they tend to be a lot more humble and nice and have people skills as opposed to someone who's always been told that they're attractive all their life. Everybody's putting them up on a pedestal. They don't have to really work on anything. They don't have to work on their personality. They don't have to work on being nice because they're just used to people waiting on them hand and foot, which is a terrible way, especially when you start getting older and those looks fade or those looks are taken away from you and you have to humble yourself but uh, yeah don't ever think that way about yourself people should always especially if you know you have something going for yourself they should be just as blessed to be with me as the um the other way around that's how you should view it hey just my thoughts let me know what you guys think though comment below like, share, comment, and subscribe. Much blessings in abundance. Stick around for the next videos. It's going to pop up on the screen below. That's where I'm going to see you guys at. It's your favorite everything. This is wisdom. Listen, guys, you see I'm in the new studio here in Atlanta, and I wanted to announce to you, if you haven't already heard, I will be starting a new dating podcast. And if you're in the Atlanta area and want to share your dating experience and or relationship experiences here, feel free to hit me up. I'd like to have you on the podcast. And all my information will be in the description of this video. Listen up. I'm the best. Let's run it up to a million. Quit playing with me. Peace.